Giant Murray here, and welcome to a brand new tier list today. You already know we're going to be doing Nintendo franchises because Nintendo, I've said it multiple times, they have the best franchises. When I think what company has, you know, the the biggest, best franchises, it's Nintendo. And yeah, I did uh, my favorite franchises for every company slash publisher video. It is now on my channel. Make sure you go check that out. Where I basically chose my runner-up and my number one franchise from each company. Nintendo, Xbox, PlayStation, Square Enix, Ubisoft, Capcom, etc., etc. Um, and I said in that video that I'm going to be doing individual tier lists for each company. At least most of them. I'm only doing 8 out of the 12. I'm not doing, I'm not doing Bandai Namco. I'm not doing Konami. Uh, I'm not doing... Uh, I can't, or honestly, can't rem remember all the other ones, uh, but you know, I'm I'm doing the the main ones, uh, the big eight, <laughs> if you would. Uh, but we're starting with Nintendo because I did say the whole reason I'm doing all these franchise videos is because Nintendo Direct kind of sparked my my this love for franchises, which I've always loved franchises, but like it just. It, it, it just, it, it made it go go up a little bit uh, because of Metroid. Uh, and so I'm just going to go ahead and start off by saying Metroid's good. It's my, fav my favorite franchise of all time. Or no, not my favorite franchise of all time. It's my favorite Nintendo franchise of all time. It's like my second or third favorite just franchise of all time ge in general. Um, I'll explain that here in a second. But yeah, so we're doing Nintendo because of that. <laughs> I know, sorry, weird, weird start, but uh, here we are. Um, and yeah. We're gonna be doing tier lists. The tiers we have are goaded, gas, fire, solid, mid, trash, and I don't know, slash, I don't care. Pretty solid stuff right there. Yeah, let's get into what Nintendo has to offer. But like I said, Metroid, man, it's my favorite Nintendo franchise, easy. Um, and it's not even that it's like the best franchise of all time. Uh, it's just, it, it just speaks to me. It, it, the aesthetic of it, the games I've played, uh, the amount of excitement I have towards its future. Uh, every time I think about it, look at it, talk about it, hear about it, it just shoots up on my list higher and higher and higher. And it, it really is just an awesome franchise that I just absolutely love. And yeah, for that case, it's going in the goaded tier list. Sorry, I had to let my dogs in. Sorry for the weird cut. Um, but yeah, Metroid Man, Metroid Dread is my second favorite Switch game. Uh, Metroid Prime is just one of my favorite N N Nintendo games in general. I do like Dread more. I prefer the 2D M Metroid, but I also do love the 3D. Put some respect on its name. Uh, but yeah, man, M Metroid, I think M Metroid has a bright future. Uh, I, I really do. I think with Met Metroid Prime 4, I think it has a chance of getting to one of those main Nintendo franchises, and I'm really, really excited for that. Um, now I guess we'll just go, we'll probably just go down the list, I think. Advance Wars, I don't know, so I don't care. I mean, I know about it. I, you know, I haven't played any of the games, but I know about it. I saw the trailers. It does, didn't really interest me at all, so I'm just going to put it in, I don't know, so I don't care. Uh, Animal Crossing. All right, this is gonna be this is an interesting one. This is gonna be a little con controversial. I think New Horizons is great. I think New Horizons is great. I think uh, what is it? New Leaf, right? Is is that is that what it is? New Leaf? I don't even remember the one on the GameCube. I've heard really good thing, things about that one. My sister used to play that <laughs> like way back in the day on the Game GameCube. She loved that game. Um, or is it 64? I don't remember. But, um, no, it's on the GameCube. There's one on the GameCube. I don't remember. Um, but Animal Crossing, I think, is a really good franchise. I think it's a little bit overrated just because of how big New Horizons took off. Um, and I'm not not discrediting it at all. I mean, it, the game it's the type of game it is. You know, for the, the time that that game came out, it just hit di different. But I think when I'm comparing it to things like Metroid, like other things that are going to go in the goaded tier list, to me, it's a fire franchise. It, it, it's a fire franchise. There is a lot of great games. There is a, It brings a lot of value to the, the, the platform. I, I, I think it's fire. I think putting it in solid is cap, all right? Because I think everyone probably thought I was going to put it in solid. I think putting it in solid is cap just because of how big New Horizons is and just... How, how much love there is for the franchise, even though it's not particularly my like favorite franchise, I still think it's really good. I, I enjoyed my fair share of New Horizons. I actually bought it like later on, um, like a year after it came out, because I heard all the hype, and it is really fun. Is it anywhere near like the goaded tier? No, but I still think it's a really, really good franchise. Bayonetta, I don't know why this is here. This is not a nin Nintendo franchise. Uh, we're not even gonna rank that. That is not a Nintendo franchise. I'm sorry. Just because Bayonetta 3 is exclusive, that does not mean it's a Nintendo franchise. I'm sorry. Um, 
Donkey Kong. Another controversial take. I'm also putting it fire. I think Donkey Kong... I think Donkey Kong has more potential than it does actual execution. Uh, and I know that might be a con controversial take. But to me, personally... I mean, I, I think I would even put probably a Animal Crossing above Donkey Kong. I think me... I don't know... Again, I'm speaking completely biased and per personal. If a new Donkey Kong game was announced tomorrow, would I play it? And I'm not talking about a Con Donkey Kong Returns, uh, Country Returns HD. No, I'm talking about a new Donkey Kong game. If a new Donkey Kong game was announced tomorrow, would I be excited and would I play that day one? Absolutely, yes. But I think, you know, if you told me to go back and play some of the past games, if you told me, yo, play through the entire series, there's nothing that really sticks out from the Donkey Kong series outside of the characters. You know, Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, Funky Kong. But to me, it just looks like a... Just a... And I don't want to take this as, like, offensive toward the franchise, because I know it's really good. It, it just sticks out to me as a worse Mario, to be honest. Like, it, it, it really just seems like a cheaper Mario, kind of. Even though I know, I, I know that's harsh, but... To me, I don't think Donkey Kong, there's never been a game where I'm like, yo, this looks awesome, like, this this looks like a must play for Nintendo. Um, I, I, I just, I really have yet to get that with Donkey Kong. Um, and, you know, I think a problem is that the, the, the franchise is basically dead right now uh, because they're doing absolutely nothing with it except uh, a theme park area and a movie starring Seth Rogen. Um, but like in terms of the actual games, you know, I just don't really, it doesn't really hit me the same. Like, honestly, I could debate p putting it solid, but outside of my, because I'm, 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 for this tier list, I'm putting, I'm, I'm combining my bias and my just objective po point of view of it. My bias, personally, I think it's solid. It's solid. But like, I think... There are a lot of people who really do love the Donkey Kong games, and I know it's, I mean, it's iconic. It, 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 there's a lot of history to it, so I think putting it solid's a little bit disrespectful. But for, for me, I just have yet to really find my love for the franchise. However, I, it, I do think it is interesting, um, and I, I, I do like Donkey Kong, just not specifically the game in terms of excitement. Dr. Mario again. Don't know. Don't care. Um, Fire Emblem. I don't know if I can rank it. I have a strong opinion on Fire Emblem. But it's just based off of things I've seen and not actually have played. So for that matter, I'm going to do the, the, the right thing. And I'm going to just hold my opinion to myself. Uh, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care, I don't care. What? I don't know, I don't care is where Fire Emblem is. F-Zero. Now, I actually have played F-Zero, so I can rank this. Now, have I, have I like, actually committed to playing? No, I played it, like, way back in the day, like, when I didn't know any bit better about, like, what's a good or bad game. And I've played the 999 game and stuff like that. Um, I think it's Fire. I think it's Fire. I think... Again, I don't think there's really anything about F-Zero to make it, like, a top-tier Nintendo franchise. I think it could be. Again, I think the potential for F-Zero is there. I don't think Nintendo themselves see that. And I don't think what we've gotten in the past has given it enough merit to be one of those top. I, I do get it is fun as crap. I completely understand that, dude. It is really, really fun. But... Again, I think when you're comparing it to like things that are gonna go in goaded, things that go in gas, you know, I don't know if it can pull its weight when it come comes to being in the same tier as some of those. So, yeah, uh, Golden Sun. Don't know, don't care. I've heard a lot of people love Golden Sun though. I that that is a series. Well, one day I'll try out. One day I'll try. Kid Icarus. Same thing, dude. Uh. I will say I I'm soon going to be ma making a list of games that I'm just gonna go go back and play a b bunch of games I've ne never played I'm gonna just make a game of just playing a whole bunch bunch of things I've never played 
uh, Nintendo is going to be heavy on that list because I do feel like Nintendo out of every company is the, the company I've played the least of or outside of Sega, I think. Um, but yeah, Kid Icarus, I don't know. I don't care, but that, that is also at like the top, top of my list for, uh, want to play. Kirby will be our first gas. Uh, Kirby is gas, man. See, and that, that's the thing. Personally, when I compare Kirby to Donkey Kong Animal Crossing F-Zero, I do believe Kirby is just a step ahead. I, I do think Kirby is a step ahead. Now, Yes, I get putting Metroid over Kirk Kirby's crazy for a lot, a lot of people. But like I said, this is also also a biased list. Uh, and M Metroid is my favorite franchise. So by default, I have to put it in the top tier. Um, I do think quality-wise as well. I, I honestly, I think quality-wise, if we look at how many games are in the series and how many have quality, I do think M Metroid is better in terms of quality. I think preference is a di di different story. You know, if you want those more platformy games, then yeah, Kirk, Kirk Kirby's gonna slap all over it. I think going, I think having that 3D Kirk Kirby game really helped Kirby because if if this was before that 3D game, I would honestly probably just put it fire uh, because I personally haven't really heard many Kirby games be like masterpieces or like must plays. I've just heard they're all really really good. They're all lovable. They're all amazing games. Uh, but I think having that that value, the, the value Kirby brings to N N Nintendo, I think justifies it being in the gas tier. Uh, and yeah, I absolutely loved uh, Forgotten Land. Uh, I've heard that Return to Dreamland is really really fun from one of my best friends. Uh, he's you know he he loves Kirby. I wouldn't be surprised if he put Kirby in goaded, uh, but. To me, I, I, I just think it's gas. I don't think it's quite the the must-play franchise for Nintendo. I don't think it's like, you know, I don't think Kirby instantly when I think Nintendo. He definitely comes, he's, he's near the top. Uh, if there was a tier between Goaded and Gas, he, he'd probably go in there. He, he'd go like right here. But uh, Gas is where he's going to go. Luigi's Mansion, you know, he goes right here. He goes, he goes, he goes in, in, in between. But. I think. Objectively. I think he's in gas. But my bias. Is going to put him in fire. Top of fire. I personally don't. Love any Luigi's Mansion game. Yet. Uh, I think three is personally my favorite. I, I, I've played most of them. Uh, not all the way through. I've played three all the way through. I haven't played one and two all the way through. Uh, I think it's a really cool franchise. It's a really neat idea. I think objectively it should go in gas because of... Honestly, Luigi's Mansion 3, bro. That's one of the highest selling Switch games. Unbelievably. like, And I feel like they're all hit on a certain degree. But again, I do kind of feel like it's just on the lower echelon of some of their top franchises. And I think that's that's how I'm looking at this this tier list is Fire Gas and Goaded are their top franchises. I think these four are on the lower echelon of those. Kirby is in that middle e echelon. I also do think objectively M Metroid is in that middle echelon, but like for me, like I've said, Metroid is top tier. And then there are obvious top e top tier e echelons of Nintendo franchises. That's kind of the way I'm l l looking at this. And I do think Luigi's Mansion is in that lower echelon. Uh, but credit where credit's due, you have a lot of quality, and you have you're you're a really big franchise. Honestly, honestly, what's crazy? Animal Crossing and Luigi Mansion are probably the biggest out of all these franchises. Like, in terms of sales, in terms of, you know, the amount of attention that that series got on the Switch. I really do think. Mario and Luigi. Whoa, this is interesting because we just got a new one announced. And I have to say... Ooh. Actually, this is tough. This is tough. Because I've played... I played uh, Bowser's Story, right? Is, is that what it's called? I played Bowser's Story. That's the only one I've played. And it was good. It wasn't anything special. But it was good. But then this new... The, the new one that they just announced, Mario & Luigi Brothership. 
It looks really, really awesome. I think for right now... I wouldn't be surprised if this ends up going to fire or gas, but I'm going to put it solid for now. I don't think, like I was just explaining, I don't think Mario Luigi is one of Nintendo's top franchises. At all. Middle, top, or lower echelon. I don't think it is one of their top franchises. I think that is due to the output that the franchise has had. Outside of, a, outside of last week... Everyone thought th this franchise was legitimately dead because the studio shut down and they've yet to ever m mention it. And out of nowhere, they just announced a new Mario & Luigi game, which I'm super happy they did because it looks awesome. I think because that there hasn't really been the output, and while I don't think any of the games have, like, been ever, like, classified as, like, masterpieces or must-plays, to me, I, I, I do think it's a good franchise. Now, don't get me wrong, Solid is not a bad tier. Solid means you are good, or maybe even very good. Uh, but again, I don't think it holds a T yet to any of Nintendo's top franchises. Uh, I, I do think all these are like some of the most iconic top top Nintendo franchises out there. F Zero is a little, little questionable, but I do think F Zero even more is loved and has more of a following than Mario and Luigi, the franchise. Um, but yeah, Mario Kart. This is where my bias is going to come in. I think it's going gas. Objectively, it is one of the biggest franchises of all time. It's the high, like one of the highest selling selling franchises. It is one of the most iconic franchises. Easy, but for me, it's going gas. I'm actually not the biggest Mario Kart fan. I'll be honest with you, uh, but I can't deny its power <laughs> and its just amount of hype. Mario Kart's going gas. Uh, Mario Party. Oh, wow, this one's also tough. This is where my bias is coming in as well. I'm going gas. I'm going gas. I was, I was, I'm not gonna lie, I was debating putting it goaded for a hot second. Because I personally do love Mario Party miles more. Miles more than Mar Mario Kart. And I was gonna make the argument, I do believe Mario Party is, outside of Mario Kart, of course, is the best party game and I, and outside of smash bros but i do think there is a quite a few misses in the mario party lineup um and i objectively don't think it's bigger than mario kart as well so to me i think it's going gas super mario no discussion needed it is one of the best franchises of all time the biggest franchises one of the most consistent franchises there is so much value that it brings uh, not even just its mainline games, but its spinoffs as well. I mean, let's be real here. Franchises we have in Gas, Fire, and Solid all wouldn't exist without this franchise right here. Uh, Mario Kart, Mario Party, Donkey Kong, Luigi's Mansion, Mario and Luigi. All of it exists because of Super Mario. And yeah, that's where I'm going with that. Really, no, not much of a discussion needed. Mother, don't know. Uh, that, the same thing, okay. Paper Mario, I think, is fire. It is a really, really good um, take on the Mario franchise, being like a different art style, being that more RPG element um, game. I really do love it. I love Paper Mario, or uh, of course I love the Paper Mario. I love Super pa pa Paper Mario, and I love Paper Mario the Origami King. I'm currently playing through the Thousands in Your Door. I don't know if I'll ever finish it, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm not loving that one as much as the, the other two, which I know is, like, crazy take, but I don't know. It's just not hit, hitting me the same way. Um, but, yeah, I think Paper Mario has consistently good good games, and I do think it is an awesome franchise. Pikmin, I also think I'd put in fire. You know, I don't think it's reached anywhere near the top echelon of the franchises, but, again, I think that is also due to the output. There's only four games with only one of them being like modern um and i i do think four is probably the best one out of like out of all of them and i i do think you know if we do get a pikmin 5 which i think it's kind of an, an inevitable on the next system i do think it has a chance of being in that gas but i think right now i think right now i think right now i'll put it in fire uh pokemon it's goaded Again, not really much discussion needed. You know, the big three of Nintendo are going goaded. It's just that that simple. Um, now, 
I will say there at the end of this this list there will be five goaded franchises. So I'll I'll, I'll leave that there. Um, and look, Pokemon it's it's the highest grossing media franchise of all time. It has probably the most amount of entries in a video game franchise of all time as well. Maybe outside of Final Fantasy or like yeah, I think outside of Final Fantasy, that might be the most amount of entries in a franchise. We're including spin-offs that are fire. We're including mainline games, which are most of the time fire. Um, you know, I do think Pokemon has definitely is in qual quality wise would probably be more in gas, but we we can't deny how big Pokemon is. Come on, like let's just be real here. Um, punch Out. This is tough. This is a tough one. Honestly, I could put it in gas. I could put it in fire. I could put it in solid. I, I could make the argument for all three of these. I think I'm going solid. Biased wise, I'd probably put it fire. But then objectively. It's hard to put it on the same tier as all these right now. Honestly, I'm starting to even doubt F Zero being there because. But. You know, I just think in terms of the importance of the franchise, I think in terms of like what it brings to the Nintendo platform right now, it's pretty much close to nothing. I mean, we don't have a new Punch-Out game. We haven't had a new Punch-Out game since the Wii. Uh, the franchise is pretty much dead. And even then, you know, it's a really fun franchise. But it's nothing like a must-play. Uh, I, I, but I don't get me wrong. I love the one the Wii. I love Mike Tyson's Punch-Out on the SNES. I love it, man. Punch-Out is really, really fun. Uh, again, being in solid is not bad. Let me just tell you right now. I think, honestly, putting F-Zero in that tier is a little questionable, but I do think F-Zero is, again, bigger and more wanted than these two. I'm just saying. Maybe not anymore just because of Mario & Luigi. Like, let, let, let's let be honest, guys. Outside of a week ago, Mario & Luigi would not, not, not have been in any of these three. Let's, let's be honest here, okay? And to be fair... We haven't played the new one yet, so we can't we can't really give it that much props. But I am still giving it credit. It is really fun. Rhythm Heaven, dude. Uh, uh, see, this is where things are starting to get a little hypocritical now because this is pr pretty much the same thing as Punch Out. It's been dead forever. While it is really fun, it's not great. But like, I do love Rhythm Heaven to the point where I would put it like fire, even gas, man. This tier list is almost starting to become a popularity contest. I'm starting to realize. We're switching thing, things around. Rhythm Heaven's going fire. Punch Out's going fire. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. I think I'm leaning too much into the objective category. I still think Mario Luigi stands at solid. Nah, I'm, I'm moving them down. No. I, I, I think the way I was doing it, I like it. Because at, 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 the, at the end of the day... You don't really think Punch Out or R Rhythm Heaven when you think Nintendo franchise. I think the way I was doing it, like top tier echelon, mid tier echelon, low tier echelon, and then you have the other franchises that are still pretty solid. Um, no, I do like this. I I do like this. Never mind. I take it. I, I take back everything I just said. Smash Bros. Good. It is. It is my my favorite party game to play. It is one of the best. V v Smash Ultimate specifically is one of the best video games of all time. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Uh, the roster and what that game was able to do is un unparalleled to anything else. 
Uh, I do think that Smash just offers something you can't really find anywhere else. Um, it, it really is just like what Smash Ultimate was able to do is something we'll probably never ever see again. Um, and that's just a fact. Splatoon, honestly, is gas. I think Splatoon has, has become one of Nintendo's biggest franchises right now. Uh, I think the inevitable Splatoon 4 is going to be huge. That's what I have to say. Star Fox. I see. I, I consider this just along the lines of F Zero. I think there is enough demand and want for it to be one of those top tier um, Nintendo franchises. I also think the potential is there. I just think because of its lack of output, um, it, it it can't really go any higher than this. If this was a complete bias tier list, then like everything would be completely di different. But I think objectively, it is fire. Uh, the legendary Starfy. What the heck is that? Uh, don't know. Don't care. Wario Wear. Wario Wear. So obviously Wario Land is not in here. So gonna take that into account. Wario Wear. Honestly, I think is solid. Uh, I don't think. Again, I don't consider it a top tier Nintendo franchise. Uh, I don't consider it. I, I mean, the games I've played, Smooth Move is easily the the best one on the Wii. Uh, but even then, I just don't think it really holds up against all the other franchises right right now. Uh, Xenoblade, I'm going gas here. Gas. This is this is, in my opinion, the most like serious <laughs> N Nintendo franchise. Uh, you know, like it is the most story focused. It is the most RPG focused. Uh, I, I do think Xenoblade brings a lot of value when it comes to what it offers in in Nintendo's catalog. Uh, and then not even considering Xenoblade 1, 2, 3, and X are all loved. Um, I think, you know, I think 3 is amazing, fantastic, phenomenal. Um, I, I do think that there is conversation for some of their them games being masterpieces. And I think the the argument's definitely there. Yoshi, I'm going fire. I love Yoshi personally. Again, if this was completely biased, I'd put I put Yoshi in gas, bro. But like I think I think again it is in that lower echelon of Nintendo franchises. Um Yeah. This is what it is. I love Crafted World, I love Wooly World, all of it. It's good stuff. Legend of Zelda is our fifth and final, um, you know, goaded tier. Um, Zelda, I mean, it's just Zelda. You know, do we really have to explain much? No, not really. And then ARMS is going in trash. There we go. Uh, so, what we can take away from this is Nintendo, they knock it out the park with franchises. Not having anything in mid is kind of crazy. I'm going to let you know right now. If this, if, 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 if I was not stupid enough to give my own opinion, I would put Fire, Fire Emblem in mid. I, I truly, I, I do think Fire Emblem is just kind of mid in my opinion. Um, but, again, I haven't really played any. So I don't feel like I have a valid opinion about it. Arms is trash. I think these four have a lot of potential. I think if new games came out, if, you know, if it was more of a mainstay of the franchise, it could be higher by just seeing where they are right now. Excluding from a week ago, new Mario Luigi being announced. This is where it would be. And I think these are, they're, they have great games. They're, they're like iconic. But they haven't quite reached must play, must play category for me on a Nintendo Switch system or on, on a Nintendo system. And then these are ones I do think are like must plays. They offer so much when it comes to Nintendo's catalog. Uh, I do think they are some of their biggest and best franchises. And then these are obviously the ones that are just goaded. Um, yeah, that's my list. It's a, again, it's a little bit of mixture of biased and objectiveness, right? Like M Metroid being top tier is obviously a little biased. Uh, I think Xenoblade being above, you know, things like 
Luigi's Mansion, Donkey Kong, a Animal Crossing, Paper Mario is a little biased because I do love Xenoblade. Um, I think Mario Kart, Mario Party not being in Goated is kind of crazy. You know, I think Donkey Kong being on the same tier as F-Zero and Star Fox is kind of crazy. But, like, you know, it's a little bit of a mixture. I think Animal Crossing not being higher is a little crazy. But, again, at the end of the day, it is my, my list, and that is just how I feel about all the franchises. So, let me know what you guys think down below. Where would you put some of them? How bad do you hate my list? Let me know. Don't mind me. Appreciate all the conversation. Appreciate all the support. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next one. Johnny Murrow out. Peace.